Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the world card coming out here first. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming out here. We have the Three of Pentacles coming out. Wow. Okay, immediately it's looking like somebody's going to produce something. They're going to build something. They're going to build something very substantial, very organized here. Something is going to be a complete vision. Like it's time for this. Somebody has once again paid their debts here. Whatever karma, whatever lessons need to be learned, whatever cycles are closing. It's like you've achieved let's say this ability to build this to have this you've achieved that like building it isn't the achievement being able to build it is the achievement we have the six of cups energy here so this is closing out like it could be past relationships it could just be things that you're just very bonded to very emotionally like attached to it just it could be even exes ex relationships but it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship it can just be something you were very close and it's just something is so deep that it's even from past life that's how deep of a bond it is. It's something it just has to close. We have the four of cups energy here. Okay, someone need not, let's say, ignore. And that's why I said this too. It's important that someone know that it's an achievement just to get to the place where you can build. <laughs> it's not even about the building part. That's going to happen if it's in God's will. But this part right here, don't miss the blessing of seeing where you are. Don't miss the blessing of seeing that you can build this. And then you have the five of pentacles here. Yeah, I see opposite ends. Like, I see what happens as a result of someone getting to this place. And then you got the nine of cups at the bottom. Exactly. I see what happens as a result. I see, like, if you don't see this as a blessing, you're going to miss the bigger picture here. It's like you have to see in what way you were depleted or being depleted. These are things that all come together with the world card. The world card is when everything is understood about that old level. So, you know, not to go back to it, but everything must be understood about it. And there's something here where I think, I think someone so emotionally bonded or was invested in the past that they were missing the fact that this is the shit. <laughs> Like, this is what you're here to do. Or this is someone needs not be so attached to the past because you're going to stay in a place where you need repair. The only way that you can, quote unquote, get this repair is if you accept that a cycle has closed. Until you accept that, you will not see the blessing in what is about to be built in your life. That's what I'm seeing here. 
Someone will stay in poor energy and poor money and poor health, poor whatever. If they don't recognize that this is a cycle that must close. And of course, it's hard to break free. See, we got the five of swords here. Let me get so oh, five of sword and the six of cups here. Mm hmm. This must be a very hard relationship to break from. A very hard situation. Maybe it's been a very long time coming. Maybe you've trying to you've tried to break free. I don't know what this is you're breaking free from. Everybody's breaking free from something different. But the struggle is real though. Let me get something with the Knight of Pentacles. We have the two of wands. Yep. Preparation here. Someone has to awaken. They have to realize. They must realize. That's the only way you can plan properly is if you realize the path. And the path does not revolve around this old energy that you're bonded to or that is, I don't know, could be also bonded to you. It's something very past life. It's something where that shit needs to be left in the past. You got a whole new life, a whole new world, a whole new everything to get to. But you have to realize it. Oh, y'all. The death card came out in reverse. Someone really could be holding on to something that they're not supposed to hold on to. Somebody could fear change here. This shit could be a very, very old situation. I mean, something could be decaying and somebody's still holding on to the shit. Scorpio energy here. That shit could be decaying, smelling, every damn thing. Skeletons at this point. And somebody won't let it go. We have the Four of Swords here. Let me get something with this Four of Swords. Someone may think that they can have peace with an old group. An old set of people. An old resource. An old... Uh, how can I say something that functioned, but clearly it's something meant to be closed out here. And we have justice, Libra energy. This is meant to be closed out. I don't know when it, it could have even been a family. I don't know when this was functioning or how this was functioning, but somebody is needing to learn how to let the shit go. Somebody is really not letting it go. I don't know who this is for the death card to come out in reverse like that. Somebody need to let that shit go. That's not, uh, it's not an option no more. It's not an option. Somebody needs to look at their real options. That's exactly why this four of cups came out. Somebody needs to look at their real options and not be set in their ways, not be so stubborn. Damn, somebody is ignoring spirit out here. We have the Seven of Wands energy clarifying the Six of Cups. This is a very turbulent uh, connection or pet. I done dropped damn near half the cards. Let me get down here and see what I done dropped. Okay. This one, this one, this one. I feel like there's more down here, but I'm just going to have to. Okay, no, that's like all of them. Okay, what do we got here? What's all these daggone cards that I dropped? Okay. We have the King of Cups, the Two of Cups here, the High Priestess, and the Strength card. So th <laughs> there's clearly somebody like pulling on your energy. But you know that you have to get over them. You know. You know what it is. You know what you must overcome. You know you have to have strength. You know this is not the time to be weak. But somebody, this person is pulling on somebody's energy. And that's why I sensed it. I was like, this must be real hard to let go. Because this person is like probably really not good for you. Not probably. This shit is not good for you. Okay. This shit is not good. 
I don't even know where to put these. You know what? I'm going to put them back. Since we already know what it is, we know that this person is pulling on your energy. And you got to know this is something you must overcome because shit. Somebody's really holding on here. Look, the tower. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody going to have to let this shit go. This don't look like good energy. This looks like when shit hits the fan. That looked like when shit hits the fan right there. And this is clarifying the six of cups, that past relationship or past life energy that cannot. It's like so hard to let go. It's so much conflict surrounding the six of cups energy. The six of cups up here has the five of sword. Mm -mm. This is something you got to let go. We need to get to the point where we can build some real shit. We could build something for real. If you understand what I'm saying, not no play type shit. Build something for real. You can't build nothing for real with this person. Not for real. Maybe in make believe, like I said. Okay? But not in like real life. Not in real life. If you stay with this person in real life, you're going to be looking not good in real life. You're not going to be happy in real life. Let me get something with this four of cups here. We have the three of cups. Yep. Somebody, I feel like somebody is stuck in their ways. I just really feel like it. Like somebody may be missing their opportunities or missing a opportunity because they're sticking with this person or they're sticking to something that needs to be over. But people don't like to let go. I understand. I understand it's hard. People confuse connection with love. Love is not the same. You can be connected with a lot of people that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally. You could be. This right here is just somebody like dealing with some shit. We have the Knight of Wands here. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Now... I don't want to say this. It may not be this for everybody. It may not be this for everybody, okay? But I really feel like somebody here is cheating. Somebody here cheating. Or somebody here want to be with somebody else. Or somebody wants to go for something that really makes them happy. But I mean, this Knight of Wands is about, you know, that fire, that passion. And, you know, that Three of Cups is about, you know, that's like, you know, third party sometimes. Something that make you feel good. I'm telling you. And this is clarifying the Four of Cups. That means somebody wants something, but they're ignoring it. They trying to ignore it or they hiding the shit. They experiencing it, but acting like they not. I'm telling you. <laughs> Man, this is not the person to fucking build with. Let me get something here. Or somebody could have a suspicion that there's a cheater. I don't know who the cheater is. Shit, the damn thing. Look, the relationship could be so damn dead that somebody is cheating. They feel like they're not even in a relationship. The relationship is dead. We have the nine of pentacles here. Let me get something with this nine of pentacles. Oh, what was that? We have the queen of swords here. Yeah, somebody's going to need to put their foot down. I don't know if you're like the breadwinner or something like that. Somebody is coming out very abundant, but like singly abundant. By themselves abundant. This is about your happiness. There's something going on where you need to leave that shit. You got the seven of pentacles here clarifying the nine of cups. So there's more to be had. There's more to see. There's more to do. You haven't seen everything yet. You haven't gotten the results that you deserve. It's something beyond. I'm telling you, this is a world that's closing out for somebody. It's not where you're supposed to be no more. That's not who you're supposed to be no more. And that's not most likely who you're supposed to be with if the death card is coming out here like... This is like being chained to a dead body or some shit. 
Like they don't want to let it go. The shit died and you just held on. We have the Knight of Wands here again. Let me get something with this Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, somebody wants some passion out here because we don't got that many wands. Okay, we don't have no king or queen or, or page of wands. We don't have none of that. But this Knight of Wands done came out twice. Knight of Wands wants to do it. They want to experience it. They want the fire, the flame, the passion, the intensity, the heat, all of that. We have the world card again. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, to me, in some ways, this means that some shit burned out. It went from the Knight of Wands to the world card, closing out a cycle. Something may have burned out. That shit may have burned out. I'm trying to tell you. Let me get something with the world card here. World card out here twice. Knight of Wands out here twice. Queen of Wands here. Somebody is maturing. Mm, you can't ignore that passion anymore. That fire. You can't ignore it no more. You can't ignore it no more. And over here, I feel like somebody was trying to ignore it. I don't know if it's a career or a person that you want to build with. But you're, somebody was trying to ignore the shit. And really, that's what's going to take you to the next level. You can't ignore that shit. Look, Knight of, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. Second time we're seeing Knight of Pentacles here. We have the Nine of Pentacles once again, falling right under the Knight of Wands. Collective, was you cheating? <laughs> Who was cheating? <laughs> like, I, like, I understand you want to live, but you got to let this shit go right here. If you want to live, you got to let the shit that died, you got to cut that shit up off of you. I'm telling you, somebody might even need a damn, a what you call, breaker. A damn... Something to break the spirit off your ass or some shit, man. I'm trying to tell you. The way that this is coming out. Mm -mm. Somebody might need like a cleansing for real. You have the eight of pentacles here. It really could be something about profession or something that you do very well. Something you want to incorporate into your life. Something you could bring to somebody else's life. It's really beautiful energy. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles here. Somebody has a passion for like, I don't know, work or shit. It could be simply making money. I don't know. They got a passion for something here. They want something nice. Like, that's what I'm saying. This is a damn Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands here. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody that wants nice things. They want everything nice. Yeah. Then I don't know why somebody holding on to this death. I don't know what the hell this death in reverse. Like somebody is not letting that shit go. This could even be a damn just a memory. I forgot about that. <laughs> this shit could just be a memory that somebody's just not like willing to just let the shit go. I mean, you can't let memories go, but you can damn sure stop reliving it. Let me get something with this Queen of Wands here. Oh, we got the Two of Swords here. Some, I'm, this is why I've been saying this. Somebody going to have to figure this out. You got to see it for yourself. You got to see the blessing in this. You got to see the blessing. Then you got the Two of Cups here. Yep. You got to see the blessing in this. Somebody might miss a whole damn blessing holding on to a dead corpse, a dead body, a dead relationship, a dead something here. OK, somebody is using their energy like even if you're just reminiscing, like, come on, leave that shit in the past, like leave that shit all the way in the past. Let me get something here. We have friendship here and it's like it kind of looks like how these hands are crossed. I don't know if y'all can see this. Look, and then the four wands. Somebody might really get married or something like that. Like, seriously, you're going to leave an old ass dead relationship. This person is your friend. You cheating on somebody who is some 
with okay you cheating on this dead ass relationship with somebody that's actually like a friend somebody that actually cares about you look at this and then you got shadow here mm, y'all doing look it ain't none of my business <laughs> Hey, none of my business. Let me get something here. It says self acceptance. Like, you got to go for what it is that you want. Take a step back. You got to go for what it is that you want. Go for what it is that you want. Cry later. Okay. I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.